Hi, this is Inval Innovation YouTube channel. In this video, we will see about sliding window rate limiting algorithm. In the last video, we have seen about the fixed rate limiting algorithm. Now, we will see about sliding window rate limiting algorithm. Sliding window rate limiting is a dynamic approach to control the rate at which clients can access an API. Unlike fixed rate limiting, where the number of requests is constant for a specific time period, sliding window rate limiting tracks the requests over a continuous window that moves forward in real time. This allows for more flexibility in handling both seat traffic patterns and provides more accurate representation of current request rates. Let's see this with an example. First, we need to define the rate limit of the sliding period range. Here it is 20 requests per minute. Here we need to keep track of the request incoming timestamp for the window period. Here, the linked list can be used to store the request with the timestamp for the window period. Before processing each incoming request, we need to check if the head of the linked list is within the period range. If it is not within the window period range, then the current head is removed. This is iteratively done till the head is within the period range. If the count of the request within the window exceeds the limit, reject the request and return 429 too many request response. When the first request comes in, the linked list is empty, so the request is allowed to be processed and then this request timestamp is added to the linked list. When the next request comes in, then the head of the linked list is verified to check if it is within the current sliding window range. Here, the head of the linked list is 9 minute and 0 4 second, which is within the current sliding window range, so this request is also processed and the timestamp is added to the tail of the linked list. This is performed for all the incoming requests. I will let this animation run till we hit the sliding window limit. Here the incoming request comes at timestamp 9 minute and 52 seconds. The linked list head timestamp is 9 minute 4 second which is within the period range. Here the linked list size is already at 20 which is the sliding window limit. So the new request is rejected with the response code 429. Now 7 requests are also rejected because of this falls in the same window range. When the new request comes in at 10 minutes 7 seconds, we check the linked list head if it is within the period range. Now the head 9 minute 0 4 second is not in the sliding window range. So this head is removed. Now there are only 19 requests in this period range, so the new request is accepted and the timestamp is added to the tail of the linked list. I will let this animation run for some more requests, so you will get more clarity about the sliding window algorithm. The advantages of using sliding window rate limiting is accuracy. Sliding window rate limiting provides a more accurate representation of current request rates compared to the fixed window rate limiting. It considers requests over a continuous time window, allowing for better handling of bursty traffic patterns. The sliding window approach is flexible to adjust dynamically to changes in the request rates and traffic patterns. It can adapt to sudden spikes are drops in the traffic more effectively, ensuring efficient resource utilization. Sliding window rate limiting offers finer granularity in controlling access to resources. Clients are limited based on the recent request behavior within the sliding time window, allowing for more precise rate limiting. The downsides of using sliding window rate limiters are implementing sliding window rate limiting may require more complex logic and data structures compared to fixed rate limiting. Managing the sliding window and tracking requests in real time can add complexity to the system. Maintaining a sliding time window and updating request counts in real time can impose additional resource overhead on the system, especially in high traffic environments. This may require more computational resources and infrastructure capacity. In distributed systems, race condition may arise when updating request count within the sliding time window concurrently. Synchronization mechanisms are needed to ensure data consistency and prevent race conditions. Here we need to also use some high performance data sources like Redis and we need to use centralized data store. There is a variant of sliding window which is memory efficient. Here the individual request timestamps are not captured 
Instead, the number of processed requests in the previous window is captured and we assume a constant rate of request during the previous fixed window period. Let's take if we have 20 requests in the previous fixed window, then it is treated as constant rate like one request every three seconds. When the first request comes in the current window, then the request in the current window is added within the previous sliding window percentage. We will see this with an example. Yeah, request comes in at 10 minute, one second. So we need to find the approximate requests arrived in the last 59 seconds of the last fixed window. To calculate the approximate count, use the formula total successful request in the last fixed window period 20 multiplied by 60 which is total seconds minus current window second 1 divided by 60 which is approximately equal to 19.6 we can round it off to 20 so 20 plus the current request 1 which is exceeding the limit so we are rejecting the request with 429 response code now there is another request comes in at 10 minute 4 second. Now we need to find the approximate request count for the last 56 seconds in the last fixed window. Here it is 19 plus the current window request count 1 which is 20 so this request is processed. The advantages of using this variant of sliding rate limiting algorithm is this variant of sliding rate limiting is fairly accurate. Since it does not store the timestamp of the incoming request, it is memory efficient. The disadvantages of using this variant of sliding window rate limiting algorithm is, as this algorithm assumes a constant rate of request during a previous fixed window period, so this is only approximate representation of requests in the previous window, not accurate. Thanks for watching. For more technical videos, subscribe to this channel. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button.